Hi everybody! In part 4 we'll look at rerouting the control signals. Wow, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. I don't think it turned out too bad. The long runs are a little messy right now. I may try a technique I learned a long time ago. I'll use some thread and lace it up like a harness. I'll save that for finishing touches though. I've run all the control signals down here, and I've got the inverters wired so the LEDs are on when their signal is active. I'll get them labeled soon. So let's try a few of these out. I'll start with HALT. You'll notice the clock is active. When I apply the HALT signal, you'll see the red LED comes on and the clock stops. When I remove the halt, the clock resumes. Okay, next let's enable the program counter. It's somewhere over here, I think. I want to enable the program counter. Okay, we have an LED and the program counter is counting. I also want to output the program counter to the data bus. There it is. So now we have the program counter going out on the data bus. Let's latch that into the address register. We're somewhere in here. Ah, here it is. Okay, you can see we're latching the data bus into the address register. Let's just stop it somewhere at random. Okay, we now have a value in the address register. Now we can stop the program counter counting and uh, the output on the data bus. So we have a zero on the data bus. Uh, let's do a RAM in. Um, so I'm remembering we're not driving the data bus. Even with the pull-down resistors, I don't think it's going to write a zero. I could output the A register, but, oh, I don't know. Let's just find out. Okay, there's the, there's the right. We'll wait for the clock. And look, it wrote all ones. So the A register's got a zero. Let's output the A register, and we'll try it again. There's the A registers outputting zeros now, and we'll try the RAM in again. Somewhere, there it is. Okay, we got oh, bounced a couple times, but uh, now we got the zeros written. Okay, well I've got some more testing to do, but I can't wait to get started on the instruction coder, and that will be part five. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. If you'd like to support this project or others, uh, please see the link in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.